So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about this pen right here, and this is the Bastion pen in titanium. In the past, we've talked about this pen before in stainless steel, and I had uh, you know some thoughts about kind of the, the heft it has to it and the price point, uh, the heft being too much and the price point being pretty reasonable at you know maybe uh, $30, $40 right around there. The price of these tend to fluctuate a lot because they are primarily sold on Amazon, so you see a lot of uh, just sort of personalized pricing, which makes the uh, the price hard to pin down. The more expensive model is this one. It's the titanium model. It is identical in every way, just about to the stainless steel one. But it is a good deal lighter and uh, for me, a lot more comfortable to use. But the trade-off is it's a fair bit more expensive. It's more like 60 or $70, again, depending on uh, individual pricing and seasonal sales and stuff like that. The uh, packaging is very simple. It's just a bastion pen. I don't even think they changed the box from the titanium model to the stainless steel and aluminum models. The only difference would be this little sticker here. He says it says bastion bolt action pen, all titanium new. And then there's really, there's nothing else to the packaging. It says bastion. I don't think there's ever, either in, even an instruction manual, anything like that. As for the pen itself, just like the previous Bastion, it's a very simple bolt action pen without really many uh, frills or anything like that. See a uh, nice heavy duty stainless steel clip. It has those little torque screws there, which look quite cool and industrial. Here's the bolt action. It's a little stiff, but it works well. I don't really have any problems with it. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but definitely not the worst I've seen. Uh, probably not the best either, but far from the worst. All the hardware inside appears to be metal. A lot of these use sort of a plastic or nylon inside to uh, make the interior mechanisms a little bit easier to use and uh, easier to manufacture at least, and then give it a little bit better slide. When you have all metal in here, you kind of hear that slide. It has that sort of nails on a chalkboard type feel to it, but it's not terrible. Nice firm action this is definitely not gonna go by itself here's the only logo it says bastion right there it looks like it's uh kind of like laser etched or acid etched right there uh very low key it's actually pretty nice pretty classy looking top is rounded nothing else to it and then the seam is almost impossible to see which for me is really important for a machined pen i don't think you should see that seam while you're using the pen, that's just a a nice thing. It looks like it's one piece. How do you open it up? It's down here, just like on the stainless steel model. Uh, you could probably just start to pick it up now that I told you where it is. It's right here. Nice, heavy duty. There's an O-ring here that will stop it from unscrewing and rattling and stuff like that. Kind of a light duty spring. It's a little bit disappointing, but not a big deal and easy to replace. All the manufacturing is really nice and clean. Didn't show up with any sort of, uh, uh, you know, grease on it. No, like, uh, smell or lubricants, nothing like that. So really nice and clean. You can see that titanium is nice and stout. Definitely not going to, you know, <laughs> drop this thing and break it or anything like that. The refill, just like on the stainless steel model, is bastion branded so it's just a standard ballpoint refill i guess they don't really say too much about it it doesn't have any other logos on it or anything like that the refill is fine but it's a parker style refill so it's very easy to change out if you want it in the future maybe you want to use this more for day-to-day -day writing you want a gel refill maybe you want to use it outdoors so you want a uh you know put a fisher style refill in here you could do or you know a fisher space pen refill you could do any of that stuff if you want but the standard refill is good enough Okay, so let's briefly compare the titanium and the stainless steel versions. Uh, I'll keep the stainless steel in the back or on the right, and this is the titanium. First up, the two are very hard to tell apart. That's not really a problem, generally speaking. You won't have them next to each other and say, oh, you know, I need the titanium for this job or the stainless steel for this job. That's not really a popular use case. It's really in a video like this where it becomes more confusing. I will tell you that the titanium is a bit darker. It, that's not just like a camera trick. It is actually a bit darker. They're both, it uh, looks like a very fine brush to it. Like the finish is a brush finish. 
the titanium is a little bit more glossy in the video. Uh, I think it's more just a, that might just actually be a camera trick. And again, the titanium is a little bit darker. They feel about the same. The titanium is slightly smoother to me, but uh, very, very different there. Very, very little difference there. I wouldn't even say it's a real difference. Uh, so texture-wise, no real difference. Shape, size, all the other things it is the same. Clip appears to be the same. Refills the same. The seam here, no different. You can see both of them are basic, basically invisible. I think it might be a little bit harder to pick up the seam in the stainless steel. It just because those brush marks are a little bit more pronounced. But again, we're really splitting hairs here, here, here. The biggest difference by far, as you could expect, is going to be the weight. Whereas titanium is a significantly lighter material than stainless steel. And again, that's assuming that you are making these to the same dimensions, right? Like with stainless steel, maybe you can go a little bit thinner on this wall here and have a pen that's closer in weight to the titanium, but doesn't seem like Bastion really did that. Those walls seem to be uh, about the same. No real difference there. Maybe the titanium's a hair thinner. It doesn't, doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, you have two very similar pens. They're extremely stout, so you don't have to worry about strength. You know, if you were to drop it, Maybe the stainless steel would uh, fare better if you were to drop it on a uh, pavement or something rough like that, but uh, haven't really gotten to that yet. Okay, so weight-wise, this is the stainless steel, 81 grams. This is a hefty pen. For me, this is uncomfortably hefty. You know, you could use it for some light note-taking. You don't want to write a lot with an 81-gram pen, and you certainly you can't really put it in your pocket or uh, anything like that. It's kind of just going to go into a bag. Titanium, 47 grams. So not quite half the weight, but, you know, uh, 55, 60% of the weight of the stainless steel model. This is not a light pen, but it's not uncomfortable to use either. It is a pretty reasonable weight for a machined pen like this one. And I vastly prefer using the titanium, where honestly, after the initial couple of weeks of using the stainless steel model, I, I kind of really just gave up on it was it's just too heavy there's an aluminum model as well that i haven't tried yet and that is uh a fair bit lighter than I, either of the other ones i don't forget the exact weight okay so this is the bastion it's called the bolt action i don't know how many other pens this company makes usually they just when people are talking about it they just call it the bastion pen this refill it's a very standard ballpoint refill no not really any different than what you would find if you were to buy a parker quink flow or a uh, i don't know like a roach ring giant refill uh kind of all the same it's a very standard ballpoint refill something you'll use if you don't really care about what what you're writing with you just need a, a utility pen or uh something you know as for a ballpoint it, it's fine but this being parker style and this being you know the type of pen you know not a really cheap pen so this would be a very good candidate for upgrade to a uh, Fisher PR4 so you can move to a pressurized refill or in this lighter model you might want to move over to a uh, a Schneider Jellion 13 or 39 rather something where you can get a little bit of uh, you know better writing on paper out of it okay so from a conclusion standpoint with the caveat that I'm not really a giant fan of machine pens. For me, they're just too heavy. And then I don't, f I think bolt action pens are fun, but uh, I don't tend to use them. I will say that I really vastly prefer the titanium model over the stainless steel. Stainless steel, again, it's just too heavy for me. This one has pretty good shape. I, I don't hate the shape of this pen at all. In 47 grams for titanium, it's a good weight. I don't mind it. Uh, you know, it's heavy for day to day, but if you're moving, if you're using a pen like this, you're certainly looking for some heft. So I think it really hits a nice spot there. That 40, 45 grams is pretty good for me for a machine pen. It's got a nice sturdy clip. It's a sturdy pen. Titanium, again, it, I don't find that it has much character as far as a material goes for pens, but it looks nice. And, you know, with the pricing around $50, $60, it's not a cheap pen, but it's uh, definitely a lot cheaper than your standard titanium 
bolt action pen. Those could easily go in the uh, you know hundred hundred and ten dollar price range, depending on the manufacturer. And this is uh, I would say as nice, if not nicer, than some of the much more expensive pens, uh, or at least it's on par with them. You're missing some of the features, like it doesn't come in like a cool orange or any of the really nice machining that would give it a full body texture. Bastion doesn't do that. It's just like, hey, this is a titanium pen and it's affordable and it's going to go on sale a couple times a year because it's on Amazon. If you have an Amazon gift card, you could really cut down the price of this a fair bit. And kind of that's the, for me, those are the big selling points. So I like this Bastion titanium pen a lot more than I like the stainless steel. It hasn't really made me a converted, uh, you know, hasn't really converted me to machine pens, but uh, you know, it's definitely more fun to use than the standard machine pen for me. I'm not giving up that Max Magco. That's still my favorite, but that's a more maneuverable, but say we just went with a smaller pen, which is on one hand, it's cool. On the other hand, it's like sort of cheating. Uh, maybe not cool. On the other hand, it's like clever, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's the Bastion Titanium Pen. Pretty nice for a machine pen and uh, search it out. You might be able to find a good deal on it and make it worth your while. Thanks for watching.